Welcome to the Hershey RV Show. This is TJ from Love and Life Hitched Up and we are checking out the Winnebago Echo. This is a prototype, but I've been wanting to check this one out for a while. And look who we found in the Winnebago section of the Hershey RV Show, Traveling Robert. We are at the Hershey RV Show and we are getting ready to go check out the Winnebago Echo. And they're rolling out the red carpet. So this is the Winnebago Echo and this is a prototype as we see here. This is a camper that I've been dying to check out. I've been reading the stories on this, I've been following along with this and now I'm going to get a chance to at least check out a prototype because to me this seems like a really cool small little class CB, I don't know what you want to call it, but a nice little RV. Let's go check it out. So when you first walk up to this thing out here, they have this thing wide open. And I will point out right off the bat, this has a massive amount of storage. Just look at the size. You have an exterior uh, water right here for an outside spray faucet. You have a huge storage area right there. This comes complete with a, uh, I'm, sure, I'm not sure if this was standard or if it's an option with outside cooking area with a Norco, uh, fridge freezer. Uh, you can dial this thing down to turn it into an ice box if you want. And this is all slide out. So while you're cooking you can keep that in and the whole thing does slide back inside. This part goes down and it comes really cool, removable, collapsible uh, dish rack and here's your water access for that. So kind of turns it into a little mini sink on the outside and uh, you can run it into a container or you know whatever the case may be so you're not necessarily overly filling your tanks and as you can see everything neatly folds down tucks back in and slides back into this big beautiful storage compartment let's continue with the exterior you have connections here for 12 volt and also uh, a uh, satellite two 110 outlets running back here this is going to be your truma so this is access to your Truma system. This here is dual 20 pound propane tanks. So great amount of propane storage. And right below that, which makes perfect sense to me, is a access port right there for your exterior uh, propane, giving you an outside barbecue area, Blackstone in my case, which I prefer. Um, great thing. And then let's move this way because this is absolutely amazing. This storage area, is fantastic and again I will have to stress this, this is a prototype so there may be some changes before it comes all the way through to production but this is some amazing storage it has tie downs in here if you look inside you can see it has adjustable tie downs and loops so you can be able to latch down some of your supplies if you look there's a rail along this edge and it functions right in there and this will be able to secure some of your uh, items and you go it has three doors which I think is really super cool and if you're wondering why I feel like it looks like I'm in the shade, I am. There's this beautiful bat wing type awning that attaches around here. And as it folds, it comes around a little support pole here and stores in a compartment right here over this side, which I think is pretty cool. So as that comes back around, it's going to go right up in this spot right up here for awning storage. So something interesting. Uh, and again, third door access to that storage area. Moving this way, we're walking into a lot of the mechanics, the Nautilus, which a lot of folks are familiar with from other RVs, including the, the Tab series. You have water fill, winterization valves, fresh tank drains, and your gray, uh, gray waste tank drain removal right there with access through the floor. Pretty cool. Your 30 amp and your Truma vent right here. So again, something you ought to keep that clear so you don't end up uh, getting anything. Under here you have your Onan OG2800 uh, inverter generator. And not sure if that's the breaker for that. And behind here is going to be access to your cassette toilet. So here you have your cassette toilet. You pull this, push down that blue thing, pull this out. And that wheel's like a small little suitcase. You can take it and dump it wherever is necessary. So that is pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. 
forward to that, you have some of your inverter uh, batteries, your lithionics battery, and some other mechanical connections up there, and that front storage. Check out these acrylic windows. They go up like an aw a, uh, awning as well, giving you great access, wide open space to get some good views in there. This particular prototype has the upstairs sleeping area. Um, so we're gonna go inside now, and let's check this out. So we are in the uh, Winnebago Echo, which is a new model that's just coming out. And I am so far from the outside looks, I'm pretty impressed of what they can squeeze in in the small little space. So if you're looking for a small little RV, a little bit bigger than a B, a little bit smaller than a C, is it a B plus? I don't know the definitions, but it seems to work for me. I'm gonna say it's a C. I like the fact that there's no bed over the cab. We don't need that, we wouldn't want that. So definitely not an important thing for us. Got great sits on a Ford uh, transit chassis. So great reliable uh, uh, unit there. The storage in this thing is pretty impressive. You have some really great overhead bins. Seem to be very well made. Nice hinges, nice latches scattered throughout. This does have a microwave, not something I would want, but that's okay. It's got a Sony built-in player. And again, utilizing all this space up here for storage, for blankets, pillows, whatever it is that you want with connections out there for satellite, HDMI, uh, things of that nature. Over here in the corner, you have some USBs, some 12 volt and a 110 right above your work, working area or your table area. So this also has two additional seats back here with seat belts. So you could bring up to four people with you traveling legally because they do have the appropriate seat belt set up. The front chairs are gonna pull back and rotate around adding to that seating area here. They have some really cool shades on this very reminiscent of some of the other uh, manufacturers that are out there with the blackout shade on the bottom and the bug screen on the top. These are dual pane acrylics. Same thing, awning style windows crank lift out onto a, uh, a slide arm to give you great ventilation uh, there. Running overhead, this looks like it's a max fan with a manual uh, open and close and seems like it has a rain sensor on there so if you started getting some rain it would automatically close obviously metal and if you're wondering why there's a ladder in the middle of the way here because there is a rooftop sleeping area and we're going to check that out in just a few <laughs> and now he's making me go upstairs yeah that's true that's good you know, Hey, this is pretty cool. And this is the sleeping area up here. Now this can be a lot of fun. I'm sure if you have kids, they would love to sleep up here. Or adventurous adults. That was a lot of fun. It's an adventure. Obviously ducted air conditioning in this unit as well as overhead speakers so your sound is going to be coming scattered throughout. The kitchen area has a nice size sink with a nice uh, faucet that has a removable uh, spigot on the end giving you the ability to wash that down. A couple of great draws. First draw short because it needs that area under the sink and then much larger as you can see it can fit your pots and pans and this nice draw as well. Now, I don't think this one, this is ventilation here for your under, under uh, heating and a nice under kitchen counter and it appears to already have a water filtration set up in there which is nice. So the water coming into your unit is going to be filtered. Uh, microwave oven, fridge is on this side and it is a nice tall fridge, Norcold fridge, three, uh, no I'm going to say it's probably just two way. I'm going to say it's a 12 volt. And this is the cover that goes over your sink, would be my guess. Yeah, based on the countertop color, so it gives you a little extra area if you're not utilizing that. Obviously, you wouldn't be keeping it in your fridge, but that's just where they keep it for the show. So, underneath you're going to have your power, your breakers, and your uh, save alert for your propane and all that great stuff down there. There's also an additional cabinet space here, tucked in behind here, so why waste any space? They're not wasting space in a small rig, and it has adjustable shelves, so you can change the shelf height as necessary for the items that you're trying to store with these uh, little pins in the corner. So moving further back, 
is going to bring us to the, the uh, restroom or the bathroom. So this is a wet bath, as we know, but I'm going to show you something that I think is really super cool about this wet bath. This wall here, which contains your sink, which is part of the countertop, so one-piece countertop sink with a very nice uh, faucet and a mirror, pulls out of the way over the top of the toilet into this corner area here and attaches, thus revealing your shower area. So now all that stuff on that side is not going to get as wet. This wall protects a lot and you have a shower curtain that draws around the door and this area. And there's a nice wood platform inside on the floor, giving you a nice area to stand and shower. Handheld wand looks like an Oxygenics and it is with a push button on and off. So you get your setting the way you like it. You turn the water on and off at the spigot and thus conserving water has its own lights inside there. I think this is a super cool little feature never seen that before that's first for me and you have your cassette toilet your thetford, thetford cassette toilet in here probably a five gallon would be my guess and a very small little medicine cabinet enough to hold your bathroom necessities and now for a closer look at the inside of the bathroom So in the Winnebago Echo, or Eco, I'm not sure how they pronounce it, it is set up to start out as a twin bed, but it does have additional cushions that can push in here to join these two together so you have a much larger bed. Air conditioning right overhead, ducted as well. You have two big windows on either side with combination screens for bugs and also give you the option to go up for blackout shade. There is a um, connection here for uh, TV, you could put, probably put a TV up in this area. So you have your cable wired in there. Overhead storage in the back here with USB ports, 12 volt and 110 also in this section with a pass through here that you can feed cords down. Reading lamps, single touch blue, hold them longer, become white. Um, again, nice comfortable area. Really cool elements in here that a lot of people miss are these gas struts storage. And this is actually a wardrobe accessible from that side with a hanging rack. You can hang your uh, clothes right there, shirts, really cool. And this is also removable if you want to put other items. It does have a um, storage drawer here. Comes out in between. But yeah, some really cool uh, access to some areas. And this sleeping system uses the Froley system. So these are cushions to help uh, give you support and also add to added cushion. It has a privacy curtain, close this area off from the rest of the world if you want to be in here and cut down if you have maybe grandkids up front or someone else sitting up there, somebody watching TV in the other parts of the, the unit. So I'm 5 feet on the top step. I just fit, but this is kind of just like a sleeping area. So uh, it, we probably wouldn't need a massive amount, but it's certainly long enough to sleep comfortably. You have controls for your fans, your Truma hot water system here uh, set up in the back. So runs your heat and hot water via the Truma. On the wall area here, you have your solar charge controller. All up here gives you status. And down here you have a touch for tank levels. It'll let you know, you know, turn on and off your water pump. You know, all that good stuff. So touch control and switches here for your awning in, awning out, as well as your awning light on and off. Turning on and off your coach batteries. And here you have switches that turn on and off the interior lights in your rig as you come in. Uh, again, this is a woven type floor. So kind of really like that. You have a max fan above, ducts, and over here, additional lights, uh, switches to turn lights on and off 12 volt dual USB and a 110 it has a screen door that separates so this has a really cool thing I want to point out something for those of you that have pets this is a heavy-duty mesh so they put a heavy-duty mesh on the outside the outside of the screen feels like your traditional nylon type screen to keep the bugs out but on the inside this is a re you can hear it that reinforced panel so now if you got pets in here they're not going to be 
scratching their way through the, uh, the screen. So it gives you a little bit of reinforce and a nice uh, latching uh, slide here so someone can't just slide this open or your dog can't slide it open and jump out. So this latch is closed. So really cool, especially for those of you that have pets. Um, so keep you from getting that, that uh, screen damaged. There we go. I hope you found this tour interesting, and now maybe you can see why this small RV piques my interest. It seems to check off almost every box that could possibly be out there. If you love this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to our channel, consider subscribing and hit that notification button so you can see when our next video comes out. Remember, when you're out there loving life, do it hitched up.